If you experience shin splints while you're exercising, it's a tough one. I've actually had them myself. And it's funny because they may affect you and they may go away or you may have them all your life. It just depends on each person's different. You may experience them while you're doing cardio. For me, it was while I was running. It could be due to your shoes, those shoes that you're wearing. Sometimes if you get better running shoes or shoes in general, put the, the inserts in your shoes. That may help also when it comes to working out and doing cardio. If you're Doing a certain exercise, like for example, you're running on the treadmill and you're experiencing shin splints, take it outside. See if maybe that changes things up. Because for me, when I ran on the treadmill, I experienced shin splints, but when I ran outside, I didn't. So I kind of, different variations may help the situation. If you're running and that's why you're experiencing shin splints, take a break from the running, try something different. Go to the, the elliptical or, or use the bike. Try some different cardio so that your shins can relax from the splints and kind of recover and uh, you know repair themselves from experiencing the shin splint. Basically, before you work out though, you should definitely stretch the shin as much as possible so that it's all completely stretched out and not tight while you're trying to work out. And then afterwards, after you're done working out, stretch again and then go home. Take a nice hot bath. Uh, Epsom salt is great for sore muscles and it will really help the shins also. Take a bath. Uh, also, there is a certain kind of tape I've seen certain people wear that you can put along the shins that will actually help the circulation. So if those things that I just mentioned don't help, then maybe you can look into something like that that may help also circulate the blood in there and keep things flowing while you're exercising. Mm -hmm.